So I'm taking a first look at Remix. This is my first time using this React framework and I wanted to sort of share my first impressions and my understanding of how the app works and maybe a couple of the differences to um, other React frameworks like Next.js. So I've got this sort of brand new demo app up and running. Uh, you run this command here, npx create remix at latest, and this is what you get. So we're just gonna take a look at the code and sort of I'm going to explain my understanding of a brand new app. We start in the app folder, and you might think, ah, uh, oh, let's go take a look at the root. That seems like a good place to start. I'm actually gonna go first to the roots folder and then take a look at the index file because I think this is a better starting point to explain how Remix works. Um, because you sort of go from the outside in, from like the deepest part to the top. And I'll explain what that means in a minute and it all has to do with nested routing. So if we look at this index file, the first thing you'll notice is um, it's exporting a function called loader. So anytime in Remix you see it exporting a function, uh, it's probably for a reason. So this is looking, um, Remix is looking for a specific exported function called loader. And in this case, what a loader does is it sort of does what you think it would. It loads data for the page or the route that you're looking at. So this function just sets up some sort of static data, uh, returns it as JSON. And how, so how would you actually use that data then? So let's skip this meta function and go down a little bit lower to an export of a default function. So anytime you're exporting a default function in Remix, this is sort of like your, your page if you're familiar with Next.js. It's sort of the main component that's going to be rendered. And they give us a nice hook called use loader data that basically receives the data that's returned from this loader function. So that's how those two are tied together. And um, the rest is just straight up React inside of this index component. So another export you see, another sort of special exported function is meta. But nowhere here do you see it using meta. So I think this is a good point to go from sort of step up to this root file. So root, this is sort of, I guess, if you're used to Next.js, it's sort of like your underscore app and your underscore document. Um, components mixed together. This sort of wraps around everything else. And let's go into the default exported function. So again, remember anytime it's a default exported, that's sort of your component that's going to be displayed. And in here we're returning a document. Um, document in this case is nothing special. It's actually just a React component, um, non-exported later down the page that um, renders uh, the children. So what are the children? Well, the, the child is a layout, and layout is also not a special um, component at all. It's just a normal React component that receives some children. So why would you do this? I think in your document, you'd put sort of all of your standard HTML um, boilerplate stuff, like your HTML tag, your head, uh, your body, Layout is a persistent layout that will be the same on every page. So if we take a look at this app here, that would be like the nav. Um, I think it's basically just, just the nav in this case and maybe the footer as well. Everything else changes from page to page. And then we've got inside of the layout, the outlet. So what is the outlet? Outlet is a very... Um, prevalent concept in Remix, and it's essentially the nested route. So in this case, if we're looking at the home page, which is the index route, um, what the outlet is, is basically rendering the child, rendering the nested route. So in this case, it is rendering the index component wherever there is the outlet. Now, that's important because I think something Remix does really well is its support for nested routes. So let's take a look at one. There's not really too much nesting going on. I guess you're nesting the index inside of the root. But if we go inside a demo, demos, and then we look at the about page. So let's actually, um, we'll just go to slash about. Uh, that's because I screwed it up. Demos about, there we go. So this is a 
beautifully styled yellow page is the about page. And you'll notice that there's an about file here. And it is, as I sort of, as we looked at before, it's exporting a couple special functions, um, meta and links. And if you're wondering where those are used, those are also used in the root, um, specifically in the document. It is rendering a component called meta and links, which come from Remix. So those are basically rendering out inside of the head uh, the exported content from whatever page or route you're on. So it's exporting some links and some meta tags and information. So inside of this index default component, um, it's got the outlet. So this is the same sort of nested concept. Anytime you see outlet, this is when it's rendering a child of this page. So what is the child of this about page? Well, you see that there's a folder called about here. So in this case, because we don't have anything past the about, it's actually the index. So it's taking this about index component and it's nesting it inside of this component where the outlet is. And then it's taking this about and it's nesting it inside of the outlet here. So now we're sort of three levels of nesting deep, which is pretty cool. As far as I've seen, you can't really do this inside of something like Next.js. Um, doesn't really support that. Maybe there's a way to get around it, but it doesn't support it sort of easily, as easy as it is in Remix. And if you click here, um, you can see that it's changing the URL, it's adding like a slash woe to the end, go back to the index, and it's only changing this part of the page, that's the outlet. So if we go to slash woe, that's rendering this little component here, which is being nested inside of the outlet here, and again, which is then being nested inside of the root here. So that's a really cool part about uh, Remix. The other thing I wanted to talk about is specifically how they deal with forms. I think this is something else that makes it stand apart from something like Next.js. So we got special export of meta, but in this we have another special exported function called action. So the, the job of the action function is basically to process form data submitted from the form on this route or page. So if we scroll down to the sort of the actual component that's being exported, um, you'll see that there's a form tag and it's not a straight up HTML form tag, it's a form component imported from Remix. And when you submit this form, the data from it is essentially sent to this action function. And its job is to receive the request to sort of figure out how to respond to it. So here's it handling a, a 400 response, here's it handling another 400 response, and if it's successful, it's going to redirect to a page called Demos Correct. So why don't we go take a look at this. So if we go home, click into Actions. So this form here, um, if we put in something, sorry, it's not right. So that is sort of this form, sort of automatically submitting its data to the actions function. Because the answer wasn't egg, you get this response here, sorry, that's not right. Sorry, that's not right. Um, and they also give you a, a nice hook to, to deal with the response of the form. So use action data, in this case gives us the action message because that's what's returned from here. And then somewhere here, you see it saying, if there's an action message, display it as a P. So that is how it's easily handling the response from the form. So it, it removed a lot of the boilerplate you'd have to do, like adding an on submit, and then like preventing the default, and then doing a Ajax post to some backend, and then dealing with the response and putting it into state. No, Remix sort of takes, all of, takes care of all of that for us. And that's um, forms. And the cool thing is, is it's, I, I think Remix markets itself as sort of just straight up web development. Like it's, yes, it's React, but it's more in line with, if you know web development, you'll know how to work with the Remix, frame, Remix framework. 
because they sort of tried to stick to the standards of the of HTML and HTTP as closely as they could. Um, another thing, if we look at um, no, this one doesn't have anything. So I was going to talk about loaders again, but I think we talked about that. So the three concepts I wanted to talk about were um, loaders. This is how you sort of get load data and put it on your page. We talked about nested routes using the outlet. It allows for the, for infinitely or semi-infinitely, I don't know how many, uh, nested um, pages that can be rendered inside of its parent. So in, in our case, we sort of looked at three. The woe gets nested into this outlet on the about, and the about gets nested into this outlet sort of on the root page. And then we talked about form actions as well with this special exported action function um, working in tandem with the use action data hook and the form that sort of automatically knows where to submit the data. And um, it handles all of that for you. So this is the first look at Remix for me. I haven't even really built anything yet. I've just been trying to understand how it works. I'm going to now build my own um, app, hopefully using a loader and an, an action function, and then we'll build that together. But this was a nice uh, first look and overview. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.